Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is doing okay. Happy New Year. And uh, I know I said that in one of the other videos, but yeah, hope everyone's New Year is going okay. I, I really do. Um, 2024, let's hope it's a good one for all of us. Um, so yeah, I've stripped them down. You know, I, I didn't want to stand up on the chair and, and uh, you know, take them all down one by one. So I put them here. It's actually quite a big pile. There was a pile in front of it as well. So I might not get through all of them, but uh, I'm going to start off with like re fairly recent movies, I guess. Um, so yeah, Calamity of Snakes. This was a real obscure gem just released last year by Unearthed Films. Really great, crazy film. Uh, curse with snakes and just it's just insane. Probably not for everyone because a lot of snakes get killed in this. And uh, yeah. <laughs> another category three nasty um just uh, reissued from on films they picked up the uncut print because there was uh, a a few little bits of gore snipped out um i'm not, I'm not going to use the words on there but uh, yeah it's it's a, it's a great category three and um my mate gave me the tin a long time ago before you could get it uncut on on the blu-ray these are a couple of good ones You've got Red Spells, Spells Red, and Centipede Horror. Era 444, they do the, the God's work of digging, digging up ex obscurities. Uh, obviously comes in a slipcase. I'm going to do a deep dive in some of these at a later date. But I'm just going through the collections. But yeah, Era 444, they're really doing some uh, excellent, um, just digging up the obscurities. Centipede Horror, I've actually got on... Um, dvd you it was it was just hard to track down uh and last year they put out fatal termination which absolutely bonkers cat free moonly lovely uh, just great additions quite possibly one of my favorite films i might have to do talks on some of my favorite films but living dead at manchester morgue this is a steelbook edition lovely got the soundtrack um i've actually got another edition of this on dvd um again I'm trying to get my collect what you guys and everyone out there uh has got to understand my, my collection is always a work in progress. I'm just showing it as it is at the moment before I kind of cut it back to to what I I'm 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 happy with, you know. We've all got things where we've got doubles and stuff and you see me digging out stuff and saying, "Oh, I've got a spare one or whatever." So anyway, so yeah, we've got the Kindred again from Synapse. They do Great work. This is a steelbook edition. Great video shop fave. Just from good good memories of this, you know. Red Crocodile, quite an unearth. They put out the extreme films, and and this is one of them. It's uh, yeah, definitely not for the faint hearted. And for you who know me out there, you know I love the the trash and the exploitation. I'm 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 a horror fan at art at heart, but you know, deep down, I, I've got to love the exploitation and the sexploitation a lot more. The Ravenger and Bushwhacker. This is something weird. New label that kind of come out where with uh, their incoherence. I can't think of the name of the company. Yes, they anyway, got my glasses on. And uh, yeah, great. Caligula. This is the old Blu-ray version, the Imperial Edition. A couple of discs. But there's a new version coming out. I think it's 4K. Uh, newly discovered vault materials and stuff like that. I don't know if it's going to have the hardcore versions in there. But yeah, I'm hoping I've got some steals of... I mean, there's some really extreme material that was cut out even for back in in the 70s. But yeah, let's, let's, let's see if it's a different version. I love Caligula. I must admit, it's, it's still a great film. McBain. This is Synapse. Just, just great fun. Christopher... Uh, Walken, you, you just can't go wrong. James Glickenhaus, excellent director, done stuff like Exterminator. Shrigalia, another Indonesian. People saying it's like a, a Friday the 13th ripoff. I, I wouldn't say so. Maybe towards the end of, of, of the movie. Um, yeah, there's some things that can reminisce like Friday the 13th, as you see on the back cover there. And uh, yeah. The Deuce TV show. I do buy um tv stuff it, it depends and and yeah of course i'm going to buy something called the dose i'm i'm i've got a little bit of an i'm not going to lie to you guys 
reason I'm called 42nd Street Forever is I've got a, a bit of an obsession with 42nd Street of old. You know, been to New York a few times and yeah, the deuce is right up my alley uh, going into the old uh, X-rated cinema and stuff like that. The only one, the only thing is season three is only available on DVD in, um, in I think it's Holland or Germany, something like that. So I need to pick up the third season because I've seen it, but it, it's just good. In the Sanctum Mysteries, the complete series. If you like your classic stuff, a couple of these were presents. That was that was a gift, and, and same for this. Uh, this is a cracking little film, released on BFI. I know Severin released it as well on I think it was 4K. But yeah, it's just just a great film, directed by Dennis Hopper. If you haven't seen it, absolutely great. Everyone was paying over the top for this. Terrifier one and two. This is the bloody duo UK release. I know there's probably better versions out there, but you know, it's a splatter film. You know, I love me horror and stuff. The Killer. Yeah, it's, it's a little recommended gem was recommended to me. Uh, I picked this up pretty cheap. And uh, this was another one that I, I was thoroughly entertained by. Project Wolf Hunting. I do like I do like the Asian cinema. I think it's cracking. I'm not going to peel this up. I might do a deep dive into this. This is an imported it's grindhouse. Um, it's a six disc set of you get the two different versions. Again, I'll do I'll do a deep dive into this. I promise you, it's it's a good one. And yeah, we've got this Mark of the Devil. This is a limited edition German one. This was the best way to see it. I've actually screened this movie um, way back. I used to run a, a film club called The Good, The Bad, The Unseen. Uh, and I screened this as... Uh, with Devil I think it was a devilish double feature we done. I think it was uh, Mark of the Devil and Night of the Devils. Really good night that was. And this edition is this, this the reason why I haven't upgraded to the 4K. As much as I love this film... This unfolds. I'm going to have to show that at a late date. It's a real good addition. I'm going to censor this with me thumb because, you know. Um, Aftermath. Nacho Cerda. Gorefest. It's very short. Um, I I had a VHS of this back in the day. Um, in the days of film fairs of old. Um, I'm going to do a talk on this movie and a couple of other films to do with the same subject because it's it's a great little story I've got to tell you. <laughs> the Luciano Ercoli box set. I know that Arrow have brought this out. I've got I have actually got it down there somewhere. That's me Arrow section. Um, this had the CD with it. This was no shame. They were they was great at releasing back in the day. Um, and just that little collecting sensibility in me. Just won't get rid of this box set. It is a cracking little set. Uh, and it's got the CD of music. That's why I've kept it. Uh, because it's got the, the CD of Italian tunes in there. Um, but yeah, if you've got the Arrow one, they, they do look superb. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. They do absolutely look cracking. Body Count, Ruggiero Diodato. Sadly, Ruggiero um, died the other year. I was lucky enough to meet him. Lovely guy. This is... His venture into slasher movies. I love it. I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, another personal favourite. And I wish someone to do. I'm sure Vinegar Syndrome are going to do like a 4K of this. But Synapse, they've done a good job on this. Um, and that's Deadly Spawn. Nice little monster movie. Low budget. Um, you know. Look, they've got teethies. Got teethies. And they live in a basement. And it's just great fun. You know, from the video nasty days, shall we say. Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. I know there's a part two of this. I've never seen the sequel, but yeah, this was this was like uh, on TV, you know? And I just remember seeing it and yeah, it's one of those times when you see something on TV and it's not until years later when you become like a, a curator of horror or trash that, you know, you come across, come across it again. Itchy the Killer. This is the Dutch one. UK version was cut. I, don't, I, th I think this would get past uncut now. Over here in the UK, um, I can't see why not. There's been, I mean, I watched Boxer's Omen the other week, and I thought that was uh, was you know extreme. You know, um, I hadn't seen it in years. But yeah, Itchy the Killer. This is a, a great edition. I know there's many different editions. This is a DVD version. 
and uh yeah you know they even put uncut on the dutch one which is unusual for the dutch uh i must admit my bloody valentine this was the dvd version before um they put out the blu-ray of the uncut unrated one um I've, <laughs> this is a film i i love this movie to bits because it just reminds me of days of old in a video shop i've got this dvd version i've got the um blu-ray of from the same company it was lionsgate at the time and i've also got the bloody shout factory out. and now it's been released on 4k so i mean <laughs> you know what i'm saying unscarred this is a, a russian jewel case which is quite really unusual of buddy giovanezzo who uh, who done combat shock this has just come out on Severin in their recent batch of titles um it's a, it's a mixed bag i like the movie i haven't seen it in many years um definitely it's, it's got to be a revisit very soon because you know i do like buddy g i must admit and um yeah there's a british actor in there it's got a few twists in it if you've never seen it buy the set the Severin disc and uh yeah I, i've literally kept this for keepsakes you know because it, it's unusual these jewel cases uh was a was a thing um when when dvd first started out and uh yeah line up this is a bit of a bootleg it's all weird trailers 36 original trailers all crazy stuff i, I used to make trailer reels up um uh, and make different trailers for for uh cinema groups and stuff like that it's, it's, it's just one thing that i like doing and last but not least for this video, because I'm going to keep it under the 15 minutes. Team America, well police. This is the unrated version. Absolute classic. I don't need to say more about the South Park guys. I do, I do love them. And this is just great fun. Anyway, I'm going to do these in the, in the next video to keep it short. And then, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for everyone that's tuning in and watching. Really, really appreciate it. it means a lot. And uh, just hope you're okay. Take it easy. See you all in the next one.